This is definitely unique, um, and this kind of proves our point of we are um, here for every animal here in our county. I wanted to do the right thing, but I didn't know what to do. You know? We had a, a gentleman that had fallen on hard times, and he could no longer care for his hybrid wolf dog. You heard that right. A wolf raised right here in Jefferson County. So that put us in a strange predicament um, because we don't have the means to house a hybrid dog um, or hybrid wolf. As you can imagine, the state is under strict guidelines when it comes to owning exotic pets. Russ Loy has had his faithful and furry companion since he was just a pup, but can no longer take care of 11 and a half year old Rit. Unfortunately, there are not that many wolf sanctuaries in our area. We asked every one of them that we possibly could find. So with the help of the Humane Society, which I can't think of enough, they, uh, with their understanding, compassion, and knowledge, they found a wolf rescue place. I said, my God, you're all the way to New Mexico. How am I ever going to get the wolf there? So the Humane Society took to Facebook. 45 minutes later, there was enough money raised to completely cover the transport from Jefferson County, Ohio, all the way to Rama, New Mexico. It's amazing, isn't it? There's a lot of people out there who have a lot of compassion and you know, understanding in that. And, but uh, like I said, it really touches my heart. And believe it or not, the transporter even had another wolf in her van headed to Rama. This one much more social than Brett. This is my only job. I love my job. Um, I gave up working in the medical field to do this. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. But after a bittersweet goodbye. Like a double-edged sword. You know, I'm going to miss him. He's 11 and a half years old. I've been since he's 10 days. But just knowing he's going to have a better life now does my heart good. Rit has now found his new pack. 1,721 miles later. Reporting for News 9, I'm Alex Taylor.